Welcome to MotoDNA. Today we're talking about a new way of learning motorcycle skills. I'm Mark McVeigh. I've been riding safely on the road and racing on track for 35 years. After working as a MotoGP engineer, I founded the Riders Academy in Australia. Today I run the MotoDNA Digital Academy, online and data driven, teaching riders all over the world. Skill is a huge part of riding a motorcycle. Together with craft and mind, the higher your skill level, the better equipped you are to react safely to hazards on the road. So what does a skilled rider look like? To find out, let's look at braking data for emergency stops. So if we go into the MotoDNA Digital Academy and we select a rider, we open up the dashboard and then we can select their braking data. So you can see two lines here on a graph. The vertical axis is the G-force um, up to 1.2 G. And this is basically the rate of deacceleration and equates to your brake pressure. On the horizontal is the distance, the stopping distance in meters. The two lines here, the green is the instructor reference line and the yellow is the student. So things to consider, first thing is the rate, which is how quickly you can apply your brake pressure. You can see the instructor has a very steep rate, so they're very quickly gone from zero to high brake pressure. Comparably, the, the student, their line's a lot flatter, so their, their rate of application is much slower. The second thing to consider is how progressive your braking is, which means increasing your braking pressure until you come to a stop. So you can see here with the instructor, they're increasing their brake pressure the whole way until they come to a stop. If you look at the student, they're increasing their brake pressure, increasing, increasing until this point, and then they sort of ease off the brake a little bit and then start applying the brake pressure again. So this actually adversely affects your grip by unloading the tire. So it's very important to be progressive. The next thing to look at is the peak value. So you can see here that the instructor is at 1.2 G and the student is kind of around 0.7 of a G. So most bikes are capable of deacceleration at over one G. However, the data shows most riders cannot match their bike's ability. The next thing to look at, at is smoothness. So not being jerky uh, on your brakes. Okay, so you can see clearly here, the instructor is very smooth and the student is not so smooth. It's quite jerky. So again, this is no good um, for slowing the bike down. Remember, it takes 10,000 hours to master any skill. Sign up at MotoDNA.com to learn more.